Hi everyone, how's it going? So I got a DM on Instagram from one of my followers asking if they need to upgrade to the new Dyson Airwrap if they already have the older one. So continue watching the video to hear my comparison of both the Airwraps and my review. So I already have an older version of the Dyson Airwrap. Mine's the red limited edition version, but I also had to buy like extra long attachments. Just cause my hair was growing longer and the smaller barrels weren't doing it for me. And even though I love my old Dyson, I decided to give the newer Dyson Airwrap a try. So I got the complete long edition. So this one comes with longer barrels. And the one I got is the Winca Blue and Rosé. So it's like a matte blue, a special matte blue coating. Where with um, rose gold on its barrel tops. Honestly, I feel it's very feminine and very cute altogether. Unboxing it was an experience of its own. They even give you a free carrier bag with this color, especially. Um, so you can put your Dyson Airwrap into it. It's very convenient. There's like a separate compartment for the wires, the barrels, the Dyson Airwrap itself. It's a very pretty finishing as well. And altogether, I'm really in love with this new airwrap so here is the main question do you really need the newer dyson airwrap if you already have the old one well i'm gonna give you some pointers which will help you decide so let's get in the first point would be how convenient is it for you to carry so many barrels if you're somebody who travels a lot then carrying the old dyson around would be a hard job for you because the older version of dyson has twice the amount of barrels that the newer version has in that case is a smarter choice to upgrade to the new Dyson. The next point is how much time are you willing to spend on doing your hair? If you don't mind taking a few extra minutes just to do your hair switching between barrels, then the old Dyson is completely fine. But if you're doing your hair every single day, every single morning and it's taking up too much of your time, then you better upgrade to the newer version because it dries down your hair quicker and also it styles your hair quicker. So that way you're saving so much of your time. The next point is something I face personally, which is switching between barrels mid styling because the barrels get too hot and it's really inconvenient to keep changing them. The new Dyson Airwrap doesn't have this problem. You just need to switch the direction on the barrels and you're set. One single barrel can be used on both the sides of your hair but honestly this last point is not such a big deal because you can always buy the newer attachments and use them on your old dyson airwrap they made the newer attachments compatible with the older version of dyson so that it doesn't become redundant which is a really good thing i'm really impressed with dyson on this move because they could have easily changed the barrel so that they're no longer compatible with the older version and you're forced to buy the new dyson but they didn't do that now having said all of that here's the points you need to consider if you're confused about buying the new dyson airwrap how often do you travel and how inconvenient is it to pack all your attachments for your older dyson the next point is how much time are you spending on doing your hair and would you benefit if this time is significantly reduced and last but not the least how much are you willing to buy the newer dyson just to try the new attachments when you have an option of buying the attachments separately now I know should you upgrade or not is a very subjective question and depends on a person's use of the product. But I genuinely hope that the pointers I gave in this video are beneficial for you in choosing. And if you found my video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. My username on both is Unicat Lux, and I'll see you again with another video. So until then, bye bye.